Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Captain Contraption's Chocolate Factory. Let's get back to it. Uh, last episode, I think we finished this level. We're in Area 2. I think we got done with Chocolate Almonds with the Jess portals, so I think we're done with all this. Uh, the next one we've got, Captain Contraption's going to tell us something here. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Our work of science. There it is, sad face. The whole reason we're here. Chocolate. Our mission is, of course, primarily a scientific one, but that doesn't mean we can't be excited by our work here. Reconstructing this factory and delving deeper into the mysteries of humankind. Chocolate. It could be the gateway to so many scientific discoveries. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. We got barrels. Barrels two. I don't know if I've even... Uh, looks like I may have done this one. Barrels 2, let's jump in, and we're going to have a modifier of zero gravity next, but let's jump in and see what we've got. Um, barrels, oh, I kind of remember this one. All right, we've got almonds and chocolate coming in. We've got to deliver toasted chocolate almonds. And we got this wall in our way. We don't have teleporters. So this one is interesting. We hit play. You'll notice this thing of barrels kind of drops down right when we start due to gravity. Boom. So that gives us a little place to sneak across. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to go underneath this obstruction down here. But I think we can sneak on through. We need to toast almonds. We need to toast chocolate. We could try to get by with one little burner, but it's a little dubious. We'll try. Let's, um, yeah, let's see if we can get our, our almond over through this area. Uh, maybe we can, <laughs> maybe we can blast through it. That's not going to reach, I don't think. That might. So our first objective, let's get the almond through this little passageway that opens up. Let's see. Not quite. We can knock that thing over, but I don't I don't know that knocking it over helps us because we lose product when we do that. Um we want to just try and shoot through. Go higher. There we go. We oh, we can't knock that thing over. That's a problem. Really don't want to knock it over. What about trying to cheat over to the right somehow? Oh, that is close. We don't want this thing to tip over. Oh man. <laughs> it's tilting, it's rocking. Maybe it'll hit the heater. <laughs> That's be a problem for us. Uh, and the heater doesn't hold it up. We could put a belt there. That might hold this thing up. It'd be nice if we could tune this thing so we didn't have to do that. Oh, we're golden. Gold in there. All right. oh, almost gold and not quite. Uh, let's see that one more time. Did somebody nick it? Or was it the chocolate hitting it down here that messed things up? I think it's the stuff down at the bottom that's messing up the uh, tower. So I think we're good so far. Um, we're going to redirect things down below. Let's, uh, let's put a belt here and just see if the chocolate, the melted chocolate... Mixes with the almonds magically on time. I doubt it. Quite. We obviously need to get these guys slide over too. All right, let's watch that one again. Chocolate comes way fast, right? Chocolate's coming way, way, way fast. What could we do about that? We could... 
try and slow it down with another belt. Force it to go all the way across. Still not going to do it. Need the chocolate to come slower. What if we move up? Try that. Oh man, that's closer. That's way closer. Could be due. Move this one up? I'm thinking maybe the. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, that made things worse. Not quite. Not quite. Or is that... That actually working? Uh, let's watch that again. That actually working. I'm gonna focus down here below this belt. Nope. Good. No. No. Nope. Not. No. Not quite. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. We don't have to try and get by with one laser, but it'd be nice if we could. I think that's kind of an extra little challenge for us. Not if I drop that down, does that make any difference at all? That looks like everyone is getting what we want, right? <laughs> that one's that's bizarre, but it's I think it's working. Let's um. Put a belt in and see if we can get it over here. Probably need another one. Belts are going to be cheaper than a cannon. Might do it right there. See what we get. <laughs> that looks awesome. Oh man, this game's pretty cool. Cause you just stumble on things that seem to work. Oh no, no. 96% efficiency. Let's try again. Oh, uh, how come? What happened there? It's going so well to the very last one. This move? Kinda keeping an eye on the barrels here. Yeah, something weird with the last one doesn't get. That's not good. Hey, what would be the cause of that? Gotta watch it one more time, unfortunately. I guess I'll just keep an eye on these little progress bars on the entrances, and when we get to the last one, just try and really focus on it, see what's happening. Okay, there's their last nut. Matter. Oh, I think maybe the chocolate's kind of hitting itself, right? Is that what slows things down? No. Oh yeah, the 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 almond coming down. I think wax the chocolate. Okay, we might need to do a different something different. That thing is stuck the way it is. What about what if we move this lower? Oh, that's horrible. Horrible, horrible. Move it up higher. Ooh. That's, I think that's going to work. Um, can I get it? Need another belt probably to make it all the way over there. Yeah, I, yeah belts are going to be cheaper. Try this. Let's see. Let's do it. Has to be there. This guy. 
I can go all the way up. Yeah, I think I'm going to need one more belt. I'm not crazy about it, but they're only five. What? <laughs> the last one didn't make it. Oh, come on. I thought we had that solved because the chocolate, they weren't running into each other anymore. Oh, boy. I got to watch it again now. I got to see what's going on with the last one. That's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. The heck could the problem be? Move you over. Does that do anything? Or up? I'm watching. That's crazy. Man, that's crazy. About... The last one kind of bounces funny. The last toasted almond coming over kind of bounces over here. Weird. Man, I'm not really sure... What I can do about that. Not gonna... Might have to adjust this cannon. I think the last nut catches on this pipe here. Oh, I think. Yeah, yeah, the last one catches. Why is that? Because it's not hitting chocolate or something on the way over. Dude, what can I do? I hate messing with this. I'm going to tweak it a little bit. That one totally messed up. Hmm. Just thinking here, what if, um, we send this through. That. See if they'll come through that way. I'm just curious. Nope. Nope. Um, what else could we do? Did shore it up with another belt on this side. Just again, I'm just testing. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's horrible. Pause. Man, it's getting worse. Getting a lot worse. I think the issue is this little ricochet off of that pipe. Try. See if I can come at that from a different angle. Uh, let's add another belt.
man, just getting worse and worse. Seems to be not so great. It's almost like I need to rebound it over. They're not hitting the pipe. That was the main goal to get these toasted almonds not hitting the pipe. Now we need to somehow synchronize this chocolate with the nut. She's coming first. The chocolate way fast. Chocolate's coming way fast. Um, let's get rid of these belts. Get rid of this one. This is a little more expensive. If we can launch this across. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, the timing is <laughs> so close. We can get rid of this belt. I'll save a little bit of cost. And yeah, I need a belt over here, I think. This falls out of sync. Man, is that close. It could just be... Yeah, like the drop-down distance. Let's see if that helps. Oof, wow, that really slowed down the chocolate. Um... I need that belt. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate fast there? Yeah, chocolate's fast. If I move you over one. Man, we're super close. I think moving this has any effect. Struggling on this one. First. Chocolates first, just barely. Um first. Can I slow you down, chocolate. Still coming in a little fast. I don't know how I can speed up the almonds faster than what I've got going on. Unless I could get this cannon to launch a little further. That's better. For this. See if we can time things. Now who's coming in first? Chocolate hits the belt first, right? Chocolate's hitting the belt first. You guys aren't really lining up at all. You cross paths almost right in the middle now of where that heater is. belt just trying to force the chocolate to go a little slower Let's see if this one really oh man look at that so close 
<laughs> thought we had it for sure. Oh man, I'm just tweaking things at random basically here. Oh boy, that really slowed it down. Take that one out of the equation. I'm trying everything I can think of here just to tweak the timing a tiny little bit. So close. But not enough. Um, hmm. to do the timing here and these almonds maybe almonds are late fairly late That is such a heartbreaker. Oh, it's so close. 80% efficiency. So close. It feels like it's just some little tiny tweak is going to get us there. I just don't know what that little tiny tweak is. feel close it feels so 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 close I'm running out of room to tweak this guy though I think yeah he's not gonna reach Range. 56%. Just not happy with that. Try and slow down. Try and slow them both down, I guess. if I put a belt like right there 
do anything? Nothing good. Trying a way to trying to find a way to force that chocolate together. This one chocolates coming first. Risk in this, but I'm going to try something different. Awesome. Awesome and painful at the same time.
Man, that's another run where it's super close in the beginning. And I end up losing one or two. What did we get? Oh, we got it. We got it. 100% efficiency. 80 current cost. Oh, man. That was a struggle. I'm going to take the win there because, man, I don't think I have it in me to prove that design. Maybe we could. I'm afraid to even run it again. I think I'm going to take the win. If I were to run it again, um, might see if we can move these belts over by one click and get rid of the last one and see if that would make it. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This kind of thing. Just to see if it could make it. I'll delete this one for now. Alright, keep your fingers crossed. Not quite. I don't think that's another opportunity there too. Let's see. I think that's gonna slow him down though. Last opportunity we have, but it wouldn't save anything, is we could put a cannon over here to catch and try and launch them over, but that's that would be a little bit better because this isn't working. Let's see where they drop. Drop right on the edge. I think if I put a cannon there I could get it across. Alright. These guys out of the way for now. I don't think this is gonna work. Be something like that. And without the belt. As soon as we have to use a belt, it's not worth doing. Cost wise, uh, it's no improvement over what we had. Four belts, or that and a belt. Delete you, delete you, and stay. I'm afraid to mess with that timing. Over one, I think, and then we'll be good. Lost a couple. How did I lose? How? Yeah, lost more. Man. I was getting afraid to mess with this. Okay, let's switch over to belts. This is definitely a fragile setup I've got here. Maybe, maybe that'll do. Oh man, that's frustrating because we've only changed stuff way down here at the bottom. I noticed that barrel got hit. That's not enough. We had the 100% efficiency.
Oh man, that took so, so many tries, but I'm going to go with it. I think that's the best, best I can do um, without spending another 15 hours on it. Let's take the win. 75 was our cost. That's pretty good. 100% efficiency. Oh man. That was a challenge supreme. Test was 70. 75. Somehow I got this done before with just 70. I have no idea. Let's uh, move on though. I can't spend any more time on that one. It's driving me crazy. Okay, now we got to do it with zero gravity. Get that one done. I think this one's going to be easier. We're not going to bother with the barrels anymore. Um, we just need to send across. These guys are going to come shooting down. We need to send them across and down, I think. Rotate this guy. Down and then through this little tunnel. Boom. And somehow we have to get these things toasted. Uh, let's just see what we're in store for. Yeah, see? It's gonna be this kind of thing. Uh, timing it's gonna be the challenge. We can intercept those early, get them going down. And are we gonna try to share a laser? That really makes an extra challenge, trying to share a single laser. How would we even do that? Hmm, this one's going to be tricky. Yeah, sharing a laser, I don't, man, I don't think I can do it with sharing a laser. Let's try without, and then we'll consider that as an option. So I'm going to put a laser under each of these entrances. That'll get us everything toasted. And maybe these guys will try and meet right above or right at. At the exit. Boom, down comes the chocolate. Up comes our almond. Then we're going to have to tweak all the timing for this. And you need to be down one, I think. Over. Let's see what we get. One, apparently. Need to greatly slow down the chocolate. I wonder if I cannon fire. That would save us time. Um, hmm. Let's see if these extra belts slow down the chocolate at all. Hard to tell. It doesn't look like it. You'll notice we don't have this little gap opening up this time because gravity is zero, so these aren't squishing down when we hit play. Feels like I got a can in these out of here, doesn't it? About like this. Boom. If I can can in this guy, give it some speed, and then avoid these two belts altogether. And maybe I want to reconfigure this guy to be that. This could even maybe go afterward. A shot. Literally, give it a shot. Be over here. That is way, 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 way fast. 
slow down the chocolate somehow. About oh, we could hmm. zigzag it. You know what I'm saying? Send it that way, then down. A lot of extra beltage. Just that, and then we get rid of these. Let's see what that does, if that works at all. And we're trying to slow down chocolate a bit. And you can go up. Ones are still way, way, way late. Last them through. Uh, see if this makes any difference. Hmm. Could they, could they meet? Let's see how far off they are from meeting. What happens if I send chocolate down to meet the almonds coming up? We can always move these over too. If we need to tune it. Thinking, thinking. I think if we can cram them into each other, they'll go off on a diagonal. I seem to remember that. I've got to get almonds moving faster. What about replacing this with a cannon? Goes bye bye. These since we're not using these anymore. And we said maybe a cannon to shoot this guy. Oop. actually work. Just see what we get. Just want to see if they're all going to hit or if we're going to have surprises at the end. That looks good. Now, just need to redirect these guys. Head back this way and then down where we need them. Let's see what that does. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. What do I want to do? I want to change some stuff up here. I think I can get rid of these belts. We're going to have to adjust the timing again, but I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. Let's see what this does. Chocolate's super fast, right? That's our issue right now. Pop 
that's too fast. I may have to use a there cannon here. It's gonna cost extra. See who's coming first. Is it the nut now? And yeah, now the nut is way early. Uh, let's see if we can replace this guy with a belt. Put it as far over as I can. <laughs> Not quite. Might not be able to do it. May not be able to thread the needle here. All right. That guy here. If that speeds things up or slows it down. Just a little slow on this guy. Okay, that looks promising. How are we?
we gonna get it to come down? We're gonna have to get lucky on timing, I think. This guy. That, and then... Another one there. Oh, no. Go the other way. Try to come back underneath. In fact, we can go once they're made. We don't care. We can kill time. How can we overcome this one? Keep playing with the timing, I guess. Oh, it's not quite making it. Yeah, they're falling down. That's no good. Try it again. <laughs> oh man, that is so close. So close. Are we going to make it? All right, we got our 100% efficiency. Ugh, the cost seems high. Cost seems high. But I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I think I'm going to call it and take the win on that one. We did get the timing worked out. Man, I got to think there's a cheaper way to do it. I don't know what that is. It would take some experimenting. Let's see. I think I did this one before. Let's see what my cost was before. End level. That was a hundred, or no, 115 for machine cost. I guess that's the best I came up with before too. Oh man, that one was a struggle. Back to factory. I guess we'll stop this episode here. Boy, I thought we were gonna get through all this, um, but we're getting to the point where I have not done any of these now. Anything that's left to come. So next episode, we'll see what Captain Contraption has for us. Tell us a little story. We'll jump over here to the Area 2 sandbox. And we'll discover what that's all about. And hopefully we can jump into Area 3. Man, that was a tough... This was a tough level, at least for me. This Barrels 2. Both of them. That was a bit of a challenge. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. This is, again, Captain Contraption's Chocolate Factory. Pretty cool game. I want to thank Glidercap patrons and channel members, as I always do, for their support. Deeply, deeply appreciated. With that, I'll see you all in the next episode.